play Tragic Endings by Eminem and Skylar Gray. We're in standard tuning, there's no capo. The song is brand new, this is all me hearing it by ear, so that's a little disclosure there. We're gonna start out here learning the chords, then we're gonna look at the uh, little lick they do. And then we're gonna go over the verse and the chorus. So we've got a G chord, we've got an E minor chord, we've got an A minor chord, <laughs> we've got a C chord, and those are our main chords here. So for a G chord, you can have your middle finger on the third fret of the high E, or your ring finger on the third fret of the high E, middle finger on the third fret of the low E, index on the second fret of the A string. For an A minor chord, you can have your index finger on the first fret of the B string, middle finger on the second fret of the D, ring finger on the second fret of the G, play your A, D, G, E, and B strings. <clears throat> For your E minor, you can have your middle finger on the second fret of the A, ring finger on the second fret of the D, and then from your A minor to get to your C, you just put your ring finger on the third fret of the A string. Okay, so those are the chords we need. Um, I'm going to start out here and teach you that little lick. It's pretty straightforward. You're going to have your index on the second fret of the A string, middle finger on the second fret of, or the third fret of the A string. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick with the middle finger on, pick with it off. On, off, on, off. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm not going to explain too much detail on that. You can practice that. Really the hard thing is just getting it going fast. Um, but you can start really slow and work your way up, building up speed. Okay, so now as far as the chords, what is played throughout pretty much the entire verse is this. Okay, so we're going to start on our G chord. Down, 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 down. Go to our E minor chord. Down. Down, down, down. Back to the G chord. Down, 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 down. Then we're gonna go to our C chord. Down, 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 down to our A minor chord. Down, 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 down. G chord. Down, down, down to your E minor. throughout the entire verse. At full speed, it sounds like this. And that's it for the verse. So, for the chorus, it sounds like this. So for the chorus, it sounds like this. Same strumming pattern, so down, 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 but we're starting with a C, going to a G. Down, 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 going to our A minor, E minor. So nice and slow, down, 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 G, 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 A minor. sounds like so it's pretty straightforward really you're working with just that C the G the E minor and the A minor um, I went through that tutorial pretty quickly but that's gonna be it so if you have questions go ahead and comment below if you'd like to see more tutorials please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching